hello guys welcome in learning zone today we have taken sulfur on a piece of sodium reaction of sodium with sulfur highly exothermic reaction it is just enjoy it and to initiate reaction i will put a few drop of water on it two or three now the reaction will start on its own you can see highly exothermic reaction here a few drop more Now the next is we have taken potassium permanganate and added some glycerin on it. A little bit of more glycerin and now the reaction will begin. A little more potassium permanganate. Now reaction has started now. It is also very exothermic. It has caught fire now. Now we have taken little bit of milk and added some potassium permanganate crystal in it. It seems to be that there is nothing, but just you watch it carefully. There is no reaction. Okay. Now you can see reaction has started. The milk has started boiling itself. You can see the color of the milk. Gas is coming out. heat is coming out a lot and the milk has solidified it is also highly exothermic reaction bowl has become too hot to touch and milk is getting solid Oh, it is too hot. Okay, now you can say it is completely solid. Okay, let's begin next one. I have taken little sulfur, pure sulfur I have taken and add magnesium wire on it, burning magnesium wire and now you have started magnesium wire and sulfur both are burning and you can see different colors different flames here red yellow and white now we have taken ice and i have put some potassium permanganate on it and now a few drop of glycerin over it now the reaction has started and the smoke is coming out but as ice is too cold so it hasn't caught the fire but it is about to catch fire now we will I just burn the ice 
few drop of hand sanitizer and just light it and now you can see fire on the eyes you can see the flame and it's burning the paper now we have taken a piece of sodium and cap it over on the eyes you can see the highly exothermic reaction it has caught fire what a beautiful fire on the eyes and never try to do this at home it can be very risky very dangerous now we have taken a uh, conical flask and some hydrogen peroxide in it and adding potassium permanganate now you can see a very violent reaction oxygen is coming out it is the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide now oxygen is coming out just add little bit of potassium permanganate on it and now you can see the speed of oxygen coming out you can feel the oxygen here this way now i have taken a piece of sodium and put in a beaker full of water you can see the movement and you can see the reaction as moving in the beaker over the of water like this highly reactive with water now you can see the movement it can burst any moment sodium floating because hydrogen gas is coming out it is pushing it pushing it and as a floating it can burst any moment yeah just we have taken some an eoh in water in a bowl and a solution in a bowl and added a cane now you can say how the cane is moving you can see here it will melt into it heat is coming out hydrogen gas is coming out it will dissolve on it after a few minute you can see here the bubbles coming out is of hydrogen gas hydrogen gas is coming out now you can see what happened to cane the aluminum can is going to be dissolved and now it has turned into pieces of what happened to it you can see in just a few minute the can will dissolve you can see here what has happened to it now we have taken some water in a beaker and added some calcium oxide cao and now it will start reacting highly exothermic reaction of calcium oxide with water the beaker has become very hot and the liquid has started boiling
all these reactions and the experiments never try to do yourself you can do in the presence of an experienced person or your teacher